we can unlock the full potential of Google Home to offer a truly personal experience. Today, I'm excited to announce hands-free calling coming to Google Home. For example, let's say I forgot to call my mom on Mother's Day. Well, now I can call her while I'm scrambling to get the kids ready for school in the morning. I just need to say, hey, Google, call mom. Sure, calling mom. So you're finally calling. Mother's Day was three days ago. Yeah, sorry about that. They made me rehearse for I.O. on Mother's Day. And since the assistant recognized my voice, we called my mom. If my wife had asked, we would have called her mom. We can personalize calling just like everything else. But you also have the option to link your mobile number to the Google Assistant. And we'll use that number whenever we recognize your voice. So whoever you call, let's know it's coming from you. Now we're rolling out hands-free calling in the US to all existing Google Home devices over the next few months. Today we're announcing that Spotify, in addition to their subscription service, will be adding their free music service to Google Home. So it's even easier to play your Spotify playlist. We'll also be adding support for SoundCloud and Deezer, two of the largest global music services today. And these music services will join many of the others already available through the Assistant. And finally, we'll be adding Bluetooth support to all existing Google Home devices, so you can play any audio from your iOS or Android device. And today, we're announcing additional partners, including HBO Now. So just say what you want to watch, and we'll play it for you all in a hands-free way. So today we're announcing that we'll be updating Chromecast to show visual responses on your TV when you ask for help for Google Home. For example, I can now say, OK, Google, show my calendar for Saturday. Showing it on your TV. It'll show up right on the TV screen. I'll immediately get results from the assistant.